Welcome to video number four of the series of panels videos for SMS Studio, in which we're going to discuss the functions and graph panels. For that purpose, I'm going to use an SMS Studio file, which is available right here, and which I'm going to increase a little bit in size. The functions panel is this one presented right here, and it includes a number of well-known functions like log, sign, and so on, and then a few calculus functions. The functions that are presented there, like log, sign, and so on, are called transcendental functions. And in, in order to show some examples, I'm going to click in here and start with log. This gives you two entries. One is the base of the of the logarithm, and the other one is the actual number of which we want to find the logarithm. For example, the logarithm logarithms of base 2 for 16 is 4. That's because 2 raised to the 4 is 16. Then we have the sine function. The sine function simply means if you have a positive number, it's 1. If you have a negative number, it's negative 1. And if you have a 0, it's 0. That's all what the sine function does. It's not a very complicated function. Sine and cosine are, of course, trigonometric functions. Ln is the natural log. Natural log of 4 is 1.386. Um, the arc function is actually related to the angle form by a vector represented by a complex number. So, for example, if I use the complex number 3 plus times 4i, the angle and radian is 0.9273. This represents the x and y coordinates of a point, and the angle presented in here is the angle formed by the x-axis with the line connecting the origin with this point. This is a concept from complex numbers that we presented later on. We also have the tangent and the cotangent, of course, those are like uh, another uh, set of trigonometric functions. Now, the panel also has some operations that involve calculus. And those include the summation, product, a different integral, derivatives. And then, five, the system of value of equation is going to be illustrated later on. Summations. These are numerical calculations. You click on the summation symbol, provide an index here, let's say K, with limits let's say going from uh, negative 5 to positive 5. And then here we put a function. Let's say we use the absolute value right here, the absolute value of k. And so you're adding the absolute value of k, and this is going to be equal to 30. Uh, product is the product of functions so, or, uh, or a quantity. Is represented by the uppercase P. Also, let's use the index, say J, from 1 to 6 of J. So basically, you multiply in J. This is equivalent to the factorial of 6. You can prove that right here. Say we change this to a square. It's going to give us, of course, a bigger number, much bigger. Products and summations are purely numerical. You cannot do symbolic summations in SMAS Studio because it's not really an algebraic software. It's more numeric. And the other type of numeric uh, calculations are the integrals. And the integrals are given by this symbol. In say, type 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. Say from negative 2 to 1. 
And so there's a definite integral, and then you need to indicate here the variable of integration, and say equal, and I give you 1.892.5. It's purely numerical. Derivatives are symbolic, and so if you type derivative with respect to t, for example, and then in here we're going to put a parenthesis, t squared times the natural log of t. Now, if we say equal, it's going to give you an error that t is not defined because it's looking for a numerical value. But if we use the symbolic evaluation, control dot, then we obtain that derivative, control dot. Um, if you want to do a second derivative, you have to use the, the derivative symbol twice. Again, it's limited in terms of calculus operations. And so let's do a second derivative here. And let's say the derivative with respect to S, the derivative with respect to S of, I'm going to put another parenthesis here, of, um, let's say, the square root of S squared plus 1. Do the symbolic result. And it gives you this uh, larger result. System and values of equations. Uh, for example, when you use the plus minus operator that we indicated before, it gives you that symbol represented by this. You can use it in graphics. So I'm going to do a very quick graphic here, and I'm going to represent a function f of x. As sorry, x squared plus one and a and a function g of x x cubed minus one. I got to find those two functions. Put some space in here. Insert plot two dimensions. And then in here, I'm going to use this symbol. It gives you by default two values, and so you could enter here f of x and g of x. And we're trying to give you the graphic here. As I indicated before, we click in the graph, hold the shift key, and use the mouse wheel. Moving forward, you can expand the x axis. Actually, reduce the x-axis to expand the graphic, and then you get a nice range for the vertical distance. Now, suppose that you have a third function, h of x equals to x squared plus x cubed. And you want to show it in a graph. What you can do is click here, and you're going to see that placeholder right there. Drag it down to open another placer there and put h of x, and it shows the third graph. Okay. Now, regarding graphics and the plot panel, the, uh, the, the, these functions include a rotate, that's for a two-dimensional graph, a scale, move, graph by point, graph by line, and refresh. So I'm going to redefine a couple of values here and insert a two-dimensional graph. And we're going to include this here. We're going to put f of x and g of x. So it's just this very small graph. I mean, the, the, the graphics are very small because by default it tends to give you something like minus 10 to 10 in both um, axes. And so if I, if I click inside the graph and select this scale, if I drag my mouse, it will scale both, both um, X and Y simultaneously up and down in the mouse, right? Mm -hmm. if, I, if I press this one, graph by points, the, um, the points in there become um, points and they look thicker. If I press in here, I go back to lines. And this is refresh, we'll simply bring it back to the original version. 
if you select this you can drag this linearly I'm going to put it down here and then I'm going to click on there hold the shift key and move the wheel forward okay and then the control key and wheel forward seems to be expanding the the <coughs> expanding the page with my data and so that way you can get a better a better picture of this situation and uh, let me do uh, at this point select the graph and click by points and you can see that the that the that the graphic has been replaced by points so it is populated by a lot of points there's another tip, type of graph i'm going to click this down to the next page which is now available in SMAS Studio. So, uh, um, hold on here. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a quick information about this. If you go insert, plot, and plot, this uh, we're gonna put here the function. Let's say f of x. So it goes from between minus one to one by default. But what is interesting here is you click and do a right click, and then go to format. You're gonna change. You could change a lot of things here, like the legend. If you have more than one signal, you're using 100 points. Let's suppose that you use 20 points only, and say OK. Well, now it looks a little bit sparse, but not not a whole lot, a lot of difference in there. Let's go back to format. I'm going to go back to 100 points here. Title. Uh, I think I have to go into parentheses. Oh, I'm sorry. What we have to do is click in here and then it go and it gives you more information about how to modify these, uh, the thing. For example, legend. Um, Let's skip that legend one. I'm going to go for title and put text in that says like example. And you get the title there that says example. Got to right click format. Let's go to, for the x axis. You have you could have two x axis, but we're gonna we only have one here. And then the the label x could be something like time and seconds, for example. And you can change the maximum and minimum is going from minus one to plus one. You could go here and change the minimum to minus five and the maximum to five. But because it was started with minus one to one it it um it's not repopulating that unless you do a um no and to to, uh, to be clear, I am starting to use this because it's a relatively new feature in the program. So I'm going to study more detail and provide you more information. I just wanted to give you a preview of what this is like. And so with this exercise, I am finishing up the presentation related to functions and graph panels in the panels of SMAS Studio.